Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the results of the Green Iguana Beta Fish Cohabitation Experiment. Um, so first I'm going to tell you exactly what happened, and then I will tell you um, the, the takeaways from this experiment. But let me just say now, it didn't go great. Okay, so on January 12th, I moved Timothy, the uh, Beta Fish or betta fish um, in a 10 gallon into Charlie's enclosure and I had it right here okay and this whole experiment only lasted six days on January 18th I realized that there was way too much poop from um, Charlie you can see him he is a big I mean like he doesn't he looks much bigger that's just normal sneezing for iguanas um, he's big <laughs> and he poops in his water like religiously um, basically he will not poop anywhere else except his water so I added a 10 gallon tank with a um, betta fish and he only pooped in that tank and the whole system wasn't enough to deal with like dog sized um, stool from Char Charlie so uh, six days later, I decided this is too much. I don't want to kill the betta, um, the uh, like ammonia burns and stuff from that much um, stool. So I didn't really know where to move um, Timothy. And I didn't want to take the tank out because I didn't have time to clean it because I think it was like a school night or something. Um, so I didn't have time to clean it and set it back up. So I moved Timothy in with my turtle Norman and the goldfish because I figured that it would be all right in a 75 gallon tank with the goldfish and um, Norman because I don't know I didn't want to put it into my 55 gallon community tank because I already have a male uh, betta in there and it just seemed like an all right solution to my problem um, by January 21st um, Timothy was very beat up. I think Norman had like gotten to him or attacked him because I had been checking on him every day and he was completely fine. I think the goldfish left him alone. Um, but I think the, the turtle kind of finally beat him up. And then I tried to, I moved him into like a fishbowl immediately once I saw this. And um, he had died by January 22nd. So overall, the experiment with Charlie and the Beta were fine. Um, that's what I'm taking from this. That didn't cause Timothy to die. It was kind of my bad actions there of adding him in with my turtle. Um, and I feel super bad. I was very disappointed. Um, it just, it really sucked. I wasn't happy with myself at all um, that I had done that. So the experiment of betta and turtle, not so good. But um, basically what I'm taking from this is that a 10 gallon is too small for a green iguana to have if there is fish inside and if you don't want it to turn uh, gross in brown water because um, Charlie's always going to um, defecate within his water. So I do want to try this experiment again, preferably without fish for a while. Basically, here's my thought process. A turtle who is either the size of Charlie or um, like weight wise um, will process the same amount of food and will defecate the same amount. So we have an aquarium for turtles in the aquarium, the beneficial bacteria and the water changes that we do on that aquarium um, makes it habitable for the turtle. So my idea is that I could do the same thing with Charlie. If Charlie's defecating in a um, system, there's a certain size of tank that can support that and there's a certain size that definitely can't, just like with fish or turtles. Um, so a 10 gallon, definitely not. Maybe a 55 gallon and I think that's what I want to try next, just without the um, fish and then I'll do regular water changes on it and see what happens and then if it's all right then I'll add some fish because I think that'd be really cool to have a South American isotope with Charlie here 
but um, I just wanted to make this video because um, I kind of just didn't say anything. Like one day there was the tank and then one day there wasn't in my videos and I didn't say anything and this is, this is how it turned out sadly. Um, very unfortunate here. But again, I completely blame myself and um, I'll be much more careful. I won't just add fish to tanks just um, because I need to just... I definitely should have just taken its enclosure out um, and cleaned it and then put them in. Um, stayed up a couple, you know, like an hour or two more um, just to save the life of it because that was just, that was a bad decision on my part. So I'm sorry for that and um, can't really do anything about it now, sadly. But um, I'll be more careful in the future if I do a do experiment like this. I won't put a fish's um, life at risk, I guess. Uh, but here I'm going to show you me just taking down the tank and um, that was basically the end of the experiment so As you can see here the aquarium water is very gross and there was lots of feces within it and um, That's why I went ahead and moved the beta out of it But hope you guys somewhat enjoyed some aspect of this video and if you did, like down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, um, then subscribe. I will hope to not produce more content just like this, but hopefully more um, exciting or just happy content in the future.